has a big workout. But I'm trying to figure out, okay, you know, how how you how you gonna do this? You know, I'm serious, it's been real, it's been mind boggling. And and I'm like, well, get me. Because of things that God has promised, uh, He's promised them for real. He promised them, Kathy. He's, he's, and I'm here trying to, you know, you let it see. So I, I figure God kind of laughs at me because He just be like, mm -mm, "Child, ain't you learned yet? You know, who am I? Who am I? I, I, I am like, I am like, you know, these down here. I am the Almighty God, and besides me, there is none other. And I can do things you ain't even." Behold, 
I am with thee. Who is with thee? The Lord. The Lord. The I am is with thee. Read. And will keep thee in all places. He will keep you. Uh huh. Where whither thou go. Yes. And will bring thee again into this land. Yes. For I will not leave thee uh -huh. until I have done that uh -huh. which I have spoken to All right. Thee. Read. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep. Yes. And said, surely yes. the Lord is in this place. He's in this place. Read. And I knew it not. Uh-huh. And he was afraid and said, how dreadful is this place. Uh-huh. This is none other uh -huh. but the house of God. Yes, sir. And this is uh -huh. the gate of heaven. This is the gate of heaven. And the Lord called you to be here. Uh -huh. And he wants you to serve here in this place. This is a dreadful place. Because uh -huh. he is a dreadful God. Amen. And what does that mean? He's a terrible God. Full of power and might. And he dwells in this place. Jesus. This is the gate of heaven. Uh -huh. That's where Pastor got the name for this church. Was in this scripture. Read. Verse 18, and Jacob rose up early in the morning yes. and took the stone that he had put for his head uh -huh. and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. Yes. And he called the name of that place Bethel. Which is to translate, this is the house of God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But the name of the first city was called Luz at the first. Yes. Verse 20. And Jacob vowed a vow saying, if God will be with me yes. and will keep me in this way yes. and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on yes. so that I come again to my father's house in peace, yes. then shall the Lord be my God. Yes. And this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. Jacob made a vow to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you right now, he didn't keep it. Amen. Amen. He made a vow, but he didn't keep it. Uh -huh. God had to remind him. Uh -huh. You made a vow to me and you didn't keep it. And the word says, it is better that a millstone be tied around your neck and you be cast into the sea rather than to make a vow to God and not keep it. Yeah. And I'm here to tell you today that God has called you through visions and dreams. And you said yes. I said yes. And God is saying, don't make a vow to me and don't keep it. Uh -huh. He's called you through your dreams yes. and your visions. Yes. And again, I can talk about me better than anyone else. The prophet said to me, you've been having dreams and you don't know what they mean. I'm like, wow. How would he ever know? I've never met him. God has called you to take his word from the east, the west, the north, and the south. Mm -hmm. And this is the training ground. Amen. This is the gate of heaven, a dreadful place, because God dwells here. Amen. Ain't no time to be getting afraid and scared now. Uh -huh. When you, God has called you to do a work, you must. You have to step out and do what he say do, the way that he says do it. Don't make a vow to him. Don't tell him, yes, I'm going to do it, and you don't do it. You can't do that. You mustn't do that. And I thought about it, because as we go on over to chapter 35, again, the Lord has called Jacob. Again, he went through some things with Leah and, and, and Rebecca. And he went through all those things with Laban, his mother's brother, his, his uncle. He went through some things, and he let go of God, and he began to serve idols. Uh -huh. His whole family began to worship and serve idols. Uh -huh. God said, I will not have it. You're not going to come up in here serving every, every other thing except me. Uh -huh. I am a jealous God, yes. and I will not have it. Uh -huh. And so I said, okay, God, what you, what you trying to tell me here? And the Lord said to me, anything worth having is worth fighting for. Amen. Amen. Therefore, I'd rather fight than switch. Mm -hmm. And that, that, that's, my, that's my theme for today. Uh -huh. if, 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 that's just it for today. <laughs> I said, Lord.
Lord, you got to word my mouth. I, I don't, when I sit down and God begins to talk, it's like I can write it out where it just goes to, you know, yes. in, a, in, a, in, a, in an order. But I was all over the place with this. And I'm like, all of this information, I can't write all of this information. I can't give all of this information. He said, okay, well, when I got here, everybody, this always happens. Y'all stand up and start talking on the very thing that God has given me to say, which means it's nothing but confirmation for me in the word as well as you. You come and you share. And I love this because we have made a congeal. Like you said, everybody ain't a member here. It doesn't matter. It does There's still matter. family to me. That's right. Yes. We're together in this place, learning about what God wants us to do. Uh -huh. Amen. It may not be a jump and a shout, but as long as you get the gist of what God is trying to tell you here. Yes. What happened yes. in the 35th uh, verse was that God called Jacob. Mm -hmm. And God said unto Jacob, Arise and go to Bethel. Arise and go to the house of God. Uh -huh. And make there an altar unto God that appeared to them unto thee when thou fleest from the brother Esau. Mm -hmm. Then Jacob said to his household mm -hmm. and to all that were with him, mm -hmm. put away the strange gods come on, come on. that are among you Maybe. and be clean and change your garments. Come on here. And what God said to me is I have called you out of darkness uh -huh. into this marvelous light. Yes. You will not go back to the ways of the world and what you're doing is you're building a relationship with me uh -huh. and it takes power to put down your idols wherever they may be. Uh -huh. It takes power of the Holy Ghost yes. to put them down. Yes. That's why you need the Holy Ghost yes. and that with power yes. and fire. in Jesus' name. Because that's what it takes. You can't stand on your own without the power of the Holy Ghost. God has called you out. I venture to say every one of you in here has heard God. He's, you've heard him speak to you. You've heard him say, I, I want you. I need you. He woos you. He calls you. He talks to you. He speaks to you. You get down knees in prayer. He's going to meet you there. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. When God gives you dreams and visions, he's bringing you into relationship with him. He's making a relationship with you. Uh -huh. God is not some mystical, magical that is not God. He wants you to know everything there is to know about him. Amen. And really, when you start reading this word, really, it's simplistic. Yeah. If you allow it to be. He wants you to know. He's teaching you who he is. Uh -huh. Even through your thought, through your dreams, and through your visions. Yeah. Have you all dreamt? Have you been dreaming things and saying, Lord, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. where, where, what what what? You know, he wants you to ask him. Uh -huh. He doesn't want you to be ignorant. He wants you to know who he is. You've got to know who he is. Amen. In order to do what he wants you to do. That's, That's right. right. That's right. And I'm like, Lord, what, what are you saying here? Come on, come on. What God did when he showed those angels going up and down that ladder and him standing at the top. Because one, one uh, 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 commentary says when they went to the top, God was standing right here. But he had it in the clouds. And then what happened was when Jacob was struck in the, in the thigh, he said, I have seen God face to face and he allowed me to live. Come on here. That's what he did for Jacob. He wrestled with God. Say, wrestle with the angel. Uh -huh. But he smote him in the hip. So that he had a lift from then there on. But I'm not letting you go, God. And that's what I said sitting in that room. I ain't letting you go till you bless me. I have been up and I have been down. I have been in turmoil in this 
this last week in my mind. Hallelujah. And God knows it. And I know I ain't the only one. Questions. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? God, you promised. I'm reading in your word. If you told Jacob, I am the God. I am the almighty God. If you told him, then you're saying it to me. You are the almighty God. What's taking so long? And Kathy, you know, I'm afraid to, to talk to God like that. But in my mind, see, I can't hide what's up here. I can hide it from you. Yeah. Yes. Yo, yes. But I can't hide it from him. That's right. And I'm like, you promised. Yes. You have promised. Yes. Yes. And I know God heard me. Yes. And I'm like, ooh, I'm sorry. But I asked my husband, I said, I want to tell God how I feel. Not that he don't know, right. yeah. but I need to be able, he, he's, he's my daddy. He's my, he's my our father. He's my mother and my father. <laughs> and you know, children, as when they get old enough, they go, why you to death? Well, why, mama? Why can't I do this? Yeah. What's taking so long? Yeah. Right. You know, right. what the, yes. and but I told him, I said, but he ain't giving me no answer. Yeah. He gonna make me wait right. until I trust everything right. that he said he was going to do. He's gonna make, so, you know, we, we, we cause our own selves to weigh on some of the stuff that he would've gave us a long time ago, and I know I'm right about it. We make our own selves wait. I ain't giving it to you until you get rid of this attitude, until you learn of me when I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it just like I said, yourself down and learn of me. Don't you let the devil do that to you. Come on, come on. Don't you let that doubt get in your mind. I mean, I'll be walking around all day long. Lord, help me in the name of Jesus, Lord. I, I, I just, Lord, I, I, I don't understand. Well, the Lord says some things you won't, you'll understand it better by and by. By and by. Yeah. As time goes. Yeah. As you go. Yeah. As you grow in yeah. me. As you learn of yeah. me. And you would think for 50 some odd years being in the church that you know these things wouldn't uh, affect you. But no, uh -uh, the devil's a liar. Yes, that. it will. Yes, it will. Say that. Uh, she said all her life. And you think that these little things, you know, when you need something, you feel like you need it so badly. Yeah. It's like, God, why are you making me wait? You know I need this? Yeah. I need a car. I got to get to work. Yeah. And see, my, my, my mind will say, well, I know you need a car, but you're going to have to uh, get on the bus and ride it. Uh -huh. You're going to have to ride it from Tula Vista all the way out to K Kearney Mason. And really, it's just because we don't want to. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's more convenient for me to jump in my car and speed down the freeway. But what you don't realize is sometimes he's keeping you from a terrible accident. Come on, yeah. come on. So you get on the bus, and the bus will go and take you on down. Yeah. And then if, if, if by chance, if by chance, you know, the bus has a little accident, then, you know, there, there goes the money that you said you needed for a car. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You didn't get hurt, but you was on there, so you get to claim it. You get to claim that, and there go your 30000 and there go you a nice car, and, you know, a little extra money. You see? Our minds don't work like God's mind because we don't know his mind. Say that, say that. We don't know what's in his mind. But we do know what the word tells us all throughout this Bible from Genesis to Revelations. I am, I am, I am. I'm whatever you need me to be. I am. I am your food. I am your doctor. I, I, I am your shelter. I am your comfort. I am your savior. I am everything. I am the rose of Sharon. I am the sunshine. I am the rain. I Yes. Stand on my word. Yes. Stand on my word. 